So this is the new Evo version of the Gravel G20 crampon, the G20 Plus specifically. For the new model, the Evo model, we have updated webbing. The webbing's a little bit thinner. It's gone from 10 millimeters down to eight millimeters, which will save you a couple grams here and there. And then they've changed the buckle as well. Instead of a round um, double back buckle, it's a square flat one. So you just get better angling, less twisting in that buckle. You know, it's, it's the little changes. And then the bigger change for the Evo models are the plastics in the back. So here we have the old G20 Plus model for Gravel. Uh, you'll notice the nice screw adjustment on the heel. This was uh, a fan favorite because it adjusted really well, but it could loosen as it, as it got cold. We've gotten rid of that screw adjustment and just gone to three lock-in positions. These are gonna be much easier to manipulate with a glove on. They're not gonna loosen as you climb, uh, and it's a much lighter weight heel lever. So this new Evo model is a lot better. It's a lot more durable, a lot easier to manipulate. Other than that, all the metals have stayed the same. With these three adjustment points, as well as like several bail options for the heel and toe bail, you're gonna be able to fine tune this to, to really every boot. With, there's so many adjustment points, uh, you're not gonna have too much issue fitting it on anything. So new for the Gravel 2022 line is this, this Evo model, which is, is not just this G20 uh, plus crampon, it's all crampons are getting the Evo update. Uh, so that update is just to the plastics and nylons. We're not changing any of the metal work. All the favorite trusted Gravel metal is staying the same. Uh, we're just adjusting the plastics on, on all the crampons. So the universal toe, toe bales are really getting a slight update. It's, it's not a radical change. It's still just kind of a, a plastic mold for a boot, but they're just getting a tiny tweak really uh, to reflect the change in the new webbing. But yeah, there, there's no radical changes there. I think it's a, a few grams lighter, uh, but nothing too crazy. Yeah, if you're new to the line, these are great little quality of life improvements and, and shaving grams here and there, um, but the changes aren't, aren't radical compared to the old crampons. If, if you have the, the old ones and you're comfortable with them, feel free to stay with them. Uh, but for those who are really gear conscious and really nitpicky, especially on these technical crampons, with that updated heel bail, um, this might be something that people are really looking for uh, to keep that adjustment point in that heel bail, uh, but save on durability and adjustment while they're climbing. Yeah, so Gravel is really good about selling spare parts. You can get spare parts uh, for, for all, all the crampons. So you can get the Evo heel bail for your old crampon and, and certainly save a little bit of money. Since all the metal's the same, it'll fit, fit the crampon exactly the same. So Gravel uses uh, all hot forged steel for their crampons. Um, hot forging is, is the opposite to cold foraging, which is another process that a lot of manufacturers use. Um, Cold forging is still done at generally warm temperatures up to about 500 degrees, um, but hot forging is, is anything above that normally. Um, and hot forging really just aligns the metals, like the grains within the metals a lot better. Um, it's a much more expensive and energy intensive process, uh, but Gravel has been doing it for over 200 years. Um, it's really an, an artisan work that they're doing in their factory in Cormier, and it's all offset by uh, solar power at their factory. So um, the high energy is, is paid for with the environmental offset there. Yes, you should um, ahead of time dial your crampon into your specific boot. And I think that's one thing that makes Gravel crampons really great is because they have so many adjustment points. You've got the, the, the heel lever or the, the toe bail, you've got the center bar, you've got the heel bail positions, and then you've also got the heel lever positions. So you've got so many that you can really fine tune it to your boot. That's, that's what I personally like. I love cranking down a, a hard heel lever on my boot, make it feel like it's really bomber. Um, but yeah, like let's say, you know, you want to swap crampons with your partner and, and test theirs out. Um, you can adjust this heel if you need to pretty easily in the field, which is nice. So we have two different crampons here. Um, we have the G20 Plus and we have the G22. The G20 Plus is obviously a mono with, with a slight offset and a little, little baby point there. And the G22 has two points. You might choose these for different reasons. If you're doing any dry tooling or mixed climbing, you really want a mono crampon, a mono point, so that you can kind of get it into little raw crevices and, and kind of pivot your foot, um, whereas a dual point won't allow that. It'll work really great in ice where you don't want to displace a lot of ice or fracture a lot, but dual points can also be better for a bit more stability if you are climbing a lot of ice or if you're climbing really chandeliered ice um, where there's a lot of uh, openings um, laterally, a mono point might not work as well. You might want a few more attachment points as you kick. Other than that, there's not too many huge differences. A lot of people say it's preference between mono and dual whatever you get used to. It's important to note on the G20 Plus, the front does not come with anti-bot plate and there's no option to attach it. Um, but with G22, there is an anti-bot plate. So this one is not gonna work very well for mountaineering if you're climbing in wet, heavy snow. But for technical climbing, these are gonna be amazing crampons.